greater engagement with the government, taking up the industry issues that we continue to be there, a greater involvement from the industry, action plans, where you can really see that industry is collaborating. That's where, you know, the greatest strength of ACFI, which will demonstrate. And obviously, we always welcome uh, new ideas. So you can find a freshness of ideas and innovation over there. Hello, I'm Zignal Zedia from Stat Media Group. I'm at the ACFI Annual Conclave 2023. And with me is Mr. Sanjeev Edward, CEO of Carvo and Logistic Businesses, GMR Group. Hello, Sanjeev. Welcome. Hello. The government's ambition is to increase Indian airspace to 10 million metric tons by 2030-31 from the current 3.15 million metric tons. How can Indian stakeholders help make this mission a reality? I think that's a great question because Honourable uh, Civil Aviation Minister has given us a, a vision and goal to work towards, uh, which is 10 million metric tons by 2030. Uh, and I think it is possible. Uh, it is an optimistic target, no doubt. And uh, it is very much possible, but it is possible if the industry collaborates. You know, we have to work together. We have to collaborate to co-create the strategy. We have to collaborate to actually see where are the bottlenecks. Uh, collaborate to actually remove the bottlenecks and uh, then collaborate to co-execute it. And uh, if a place like Hong Kong, which is uh, actually an airport, which can do 5 million metric tons annually, I think, you know, it's high time that India as a country has more aspirations. So, yes, we need to collaborate, work together to make it possible. How do you envision the Indian air cargo market in the next five years? What are your future ambitions for the Indian cargo sector? I think the Indian cargo sector needs to take the lead. It's high time, you know, that we've been uh, talking about taking a leadership role in many other things. It's also time that uh, while we have an aspirations to achieve a number, but in while we do that on the journey, I think it's also we be the trailblazers. We actually set the industry standards, you know, people should really aspire, you know, the benchmarks that we set in terms of process efficiency, in terms of the cutoff times that we, we offer, in terms of the connecting times that we offer for our transshipment business. So I think it's time that we actually set those global benchmarks and uh, people look up to India when, uh, you know, we are moving cargo out of this country and, you know, examine domestic cargo. So I think that would be my aspirational ambition, but yes, we need to get there. All right, that's great. Also, we've seen that the Indian air cargo market is starting to more focus on the transshipment cargo. So I would like to know your thoughts on this. How will this start and how will India establish as a transshipment hub? Yeah, I think, you know, if you look at any of the established hubs across the world, they have a sizable amount of transshipment business. And if we really have to grow hubs within the country, it will happen only if we have a good, robust transshipment okay. mechanism. And uh, while the airlines, you know, can bring the cargo, the airports can have the ability to process it, we also need to complement it with the right regulatory framework. And we have had some very good support coming in from the government. I um, mean, customs okay. have been very progressive in terms of the policies they brought in for things like sector available, how do you do your consolidation for airports and things like that. We also need to relook at, at it from a security perspective. And uh, I think it's easy. You, we just need to benchmark what's happening around the world. And uh, without compromising security, how we can still make the process seamless, I think that's something that we need to achieve. Because when you're talking of transshipment, you know, if India really wants to, or Indian airports need to position themselves as transshipment hubs, you're actually competing, you know, with the hubs around you. So you can't have a process in isolation. You have to have a process which uh, not just benchmarks, which is better than what the regional hubs are offering. But I think we again need to look very pragmatically. As I said again, without compromising security, but there are ways to keep the cargo secure, but have a great transshipment product. And I think we need to have a collaborative effort there as well. All right, that's great. Can you share some highlights from the ACFI Annual Conclave 2023? Yeah, I mean, before even we reach today, let me say, you know, because I've been part of the organizing team, so... There's a lot of passion, there's a lot of energy which goes into organizing things like this. Hats off to our team who put on a lot of effort. And I think, you know, back of the mind, it is always, you know, how do we give a better experience to industry colleagues who will come here on the D-Day, which is today. That has happened, if I really reflect on today, it was a great time of, you know, you see the recognition of the industry associations. That's what ACFI is doing. I mean, getting the industry associations together on a platform, recognizing that is something which I think was a highlight. Also, the sessions were great. I mean, be it uh, 
the airline perspective that was brought, even how we're looking at the technology side of the business, where are the growth opportunities. And obviously, I mean, these ACFI events are very well attended from the right decision makers from the industry. So it's even a great networking opportunity. But if you look at it, my biggest sense of satisfaction of this event is, you know, even after we did the vote of thanks, the hall was still full, you know, which shows that people really like the event and like the kind of people who are coming here and, the, and like network. So I think it's been a very satisfying day. That's great. So before we wrap up, I would like to know what would we look forward to the next year at the ACFI event? Well, ACFI, you can continue to look forward to a leadership role from ACFI, a greater engagement with the government, taking up the industry issues that we continue to be there, a greater involvement from the industry, action plans where you can really see that industry is collaborating. That's where, you know, the greatest strength of ACFI, which will demonstrate. And obviously, we always welcome uh, new ideas. So you can find a freshness of ideas and innovation over there. Thank you so much, sir. Thank, Thank you. you.